What is up everybody? Been about a month or so, so it's time to do another Universal Orlando update. Gonna wander around, show you everything interesting going on at Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. Let's go check things out. Now the most exciting thing going on at Universal right now is of course Fast and the Furious Supercharged as it's getting ready to open sometime in the spring. It was right around this time last year we found out that Jimmy Fallon was opening on April 6th. So I expect Universal to be dropping, as long as everything is going fine with the testing process, dropping the opening date for the new Fast and the Furious ride pretty soon. Just to coincide with that, anything, not really any, uh, any interesting stuff going on on the outside. It really does look pretty much all done. Will it be good? Will it not be good? Well, we'll find out in a couple of, uh, a couple of months here. So while the Fast and the Furious ride is not open yet, the gift shop is in the former exit and entrance area of, as uh, the former entrance area of uh, Disaster, you find the uh, the Fast and the Furious custom gear shop, and it is a very big gift shop. Now this is something we've seen Universal do a couple of times where they would open the gift shop before the ride. We saw them do this with Transformers, we saw them do it with Jimmy Fallon, so let's take a look inside and uh, see if the merch is for you guys. I know I've been in here before, merchandise not really my thing. It's weird because I really like the Fast and the Furious movies, but the merch, it just doesn't scream to me. If you're into cars and that kind of thing, it will definitely be something for you. Big portion of the store is over here just dedicated to the build your own car experience. Sort of along the same range as Disney's like uh, build your own lightsaber kind of thing. Well, you could come here and build your own Fast and the Furious car, which would be really, really cool for kids. I love the little barricades. Look how cool those are. Neat. But a lot, a lot of merchandise for this, so... Uh, if you're somebody that would buy Fast and the Furious stuff, you'd be uh, doing pretty well. Of course, they have a car to take pictures with. Lots of stuff. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. The store is a, it's a big store. And uh, lots of different stuff. Again, if you're into car shirts and car stuff, you'd be a big fan. Uh, if you're familiar with In The Loop stuff, uh, you can see Kenny spending a lot of money in here. You heard that, Spoonie. But uh, me, not not really anything I think I would buy. And a lot of it's just kind of Fast and the Furious stuff. Like, I love park-specific stuff. Like, some of them are, so say, like, supercharged on it, like this, or this kind of hideous t-shirt. But um, most of it just is kind of a generic Fast and the Furious branding. But uh, there is a ton of it. <laughs> and it just keeps going. I'm assuming behind that curtain there is where the ride will exit, which we're all looking forward to. There's people coming out, so that's probably a good sign. Anyway, that's the, the Fast and the Furious uh, custom gear shop. Come here and you, go, you could spend a whole lot of money, I think, if you're into that kind of thing. So one more thing on the topic of the, uh, the gift shop. There is this weird, uh, all these lights in the exit area and the, these big doors. So I'm not sure if they'll do some sort of a show or something over here or uh, Streetmosphere or water, there'll just be a, a big car to take your picture with. But I feel like something will be coming to this space here because uh, it's just odd without it. Over here I'm by Hogsmeade Station over at Islands Adventure and really you can't see much on the construction going on at the uh, the old Dueling Dragon site. There is a, uh, there's no roller coaster left. The old station is still there. Everyone thinks that that will be reused, but uh, you really can't see anything. This is uh, one of those construction projects you really cannot get a good look at as uh, it's pretty well hidden. Way off in the distance there, you get a little bit of a shot of the Aventura Hotel. Opening up next August, you got glass up to about until the top three floors or so. Still a lot of work to be done there. Obviously, you can see that's where the rooftop bar is gonna be, but you can't see anything that looks at all like a bar. And that's Aventura. All the barges from the old Cinematic Spectacular uh, are still in the lagoon, so I'm really thinking they'll probably get reused again for the next show. Although some of them are different in different shapes, so maybe not. As you can see, the uh, the one over there, it's still got those big globe kind of lights on it. And if I look to the one right in front of me, it does not. So uh, who knows? But that is the current status of it. Over here in the Hollywood section of the park, the old sunglass store is gone. It's replaced with a, uh, a Secret Life of Pets shop, selling a uh, Secret Life of Pets stuff, also some of their kids cartoon kind of things. Which I think is definitely an upgrade, I would say. And uh, looking around, you got, actually some of this stuff's really cool. First of all, I, I like the film, like the film, didn't love the film, thought it was good. But uh, look at these hats. Those are some cool hats. Anyway, so you know, kind of average stuff in here. A lot of Secret Life of Pets. Then you get some trolls and just pickle me on the other side. But uh, you know, I would say it's an improvement over the sunglass store. 
as expected, nothing really interesting happening with the old T2 building. Did see some aerial photos taken, I think, yesterday or two days ago. Uh, by the way, follow uh, at BioReconstruct on Twitter. He does uh, some of the best construction updates out there on Twitter. And uh, you can see there, there was a construction fence out behind it and uh, some, some big dumpsters. So they're definitely doing some stuff, just nothing you can see from the outside. So one thing I find kind of interesting is January 15th and Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone, it's still open. There's been uh, no announced closure dates or anything like that, as this land is rumored to be where Nintendo Land is gonna go. And if you follow the permits and stuff like that, and all the rumors, this is where the, the all the rumors state that Nintendo Land is going. You know, taking over Animal Actors and Fievel and Curious George and Barney and all that. Uh, E.T. is probably staying, but everything else looks like it's on its way out. And I, I'm kind of surprised they have not announced a closure of this yet because I was really hoping Nintendo Land would be a 2020 project, and now I'm beginning to think that it might be a 2021 project, as unless they close this area and start building soon, this is not gonna hit summer 2020, guys, because this is a big, big project. So that's a little disappointing. Hopefully it shuts down soon. Maybe they're waiting for like Fast and the Furious to open up to give the park some more capacity, and then they'll shut it down in April sometime after the, uh, the busy Easter season. But right now, it's still open, no closure announced. There's not even a date that's really rumored either, which is kind of weird. Anyway, so Kid Zone, see you while you can. So something that happened last month is the reopening of Hong Kongers, a store that's been closed here in Zeus Landing for probably about 10 years. And they make these crazy big cotton candies in rather a, a cold stone-like fashion where you pick your flavor and you pick your mix-in. It's like seven bucks for the giant cotton candy and then a uh, dollar for each mix-in. You can see some of the stuff down there. You know, like uh, uh, M&Ms and sprinkles and rock candy and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool, really fun. It fits in with Zeus Landing very well. And you can see from the line over there, it's quite popular. But uh, I like this. I like the, uh, the idea of destination food and destination dining at theme parks. And this is really that here at Hong Kongers. A couple of neat items in the prop shop today. One is this giant, like, 10-foot sign that just says excitement. Apparently, I read the tag of one of the airport stores. Um, so, obviously, when you go to the MCO, so if you need one of those, 300 bucks. I don't know who would need one of those. Something really cool, if you're a huge, huge fan of Halloween Horror Nights, they are selling these uh, Jack the Clown busts. Very, very pricey, but uh, if you're a big Horror Nights fan, as a lot of people are, there's that. And if you're a fan of those terrible uh, square blinky cups at Horror Nights and you want to remember them forever, well, you could get a giant <laughs> version of that. I think it's 75, yeah. Always love coming into the prop shop. So the only thing of interest going on in City Walk is right here as the old Element Store is uh, under construction. The big rumor is Voodoo Donuts. That is yet to be officially announced, but it's something I wish is coming. And uh, obviously they're doing some major uh, renovations. So they've got another Impact Wrestling taping tonight here at Universal Orlando. Uh, as a big wrestling fan, I go to, generally go to one showing a month. Not the biggest fan of Impact. I think it's my fourth favorite brand of wrestling right now. But always fun to go for a show for free. Actually, something that was really cool today, in the park, they had a free meet and greet with a wrestler. So I got to get my picture with Falaba, who, yes, I asked, and he was very cold, as I'm currently in a fleece and pants. So the first time I've seen this piece of merchandise here, it is Spider-Man walking finger puppets, as Mommy is definitely sitting here. It's adorable. And that'll do it for our time here at Universal. Hope you enjoyed the update. I enjoyed doing it. I went on a lot of rides today. I went on like 10 rides. A good time. Saw some wrestling. It was fun. Good trip to Universal. <laughs> Be back in uh, another couple weeks from Marga. See you guys. Thank you. Be sure to uh, like In The Loop on Facebook. Be sure to like, follow me on Twitter, at In The Loop Legend. And be sure to listen to the podcast, because the podcast is fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.